My name is Tim Hartnett. I am the Renewable Energies Project Manager here at TCO. TCO as a company has been around for over 65 years, uh, third generation ownership. Uh, as we've evolved over the last couple years, we moved from oil and gas, which was kind of our bread and butter, into renewable energy. Uh, we have our own proprietary software TAC title tree, uh, TCO Title Suite. Uh, it's a cloud-based system and we can run title from anywhere. Uh, the, the growth of renewable energy projects here at TCO has, has taken off. The last couple of years, uh, I would say we've probably tripled to quadrupled the amount of renewable clients we have and projects going on. Right now for renewables, we are mainly focused on the utility larger scale projects. Uh, they just work better for us as a company because of how we're set up. The larger utility scale ones, you're taking talking about hundreds to thousands of acres. So what the renewables need our assistance with is to reduce the risk that on further title insurance. And that's where we fit in. It's, it's more of the bread and butter along with oil and gas that is TCO's background. Uh, utility scale solar projects typically run into issues because of where they have to be located. You know, for oil and gas, they go out and look where the, where the oil is, the geology is still. Well, for solar and, and wind projects, utility scale, they have to go find something that is close to the substation. Because so, right now, there isn't the technology, the batteries to store the energy. So it, it's a key piece to them to be close to a connect to be close to a power source, power plant, and be able to run connector lines to it in a shorter distance. Because as all electricity, it you know you lose electricity as you transmit it, so it's important to be that. So the land use is kind of what's there is there. You know you can't go pick a, a site ten miles away because well it doesn't have any right of ways going through it. You know it's a flat land, it's the perfect site for it. They have to kind of go find well this one works for us, now we have to go find out what the issues are with it. My skills as an oil and gas landman translate over to renewable utility scale projects because these companies are starting to move into oil and gas areas. They're not out in the middle of nowhere like they used to be or where there's no production. And so having that knowledge of operators in the area uh, well information how and even the background of how they're drilling wells now so that we can talk to a client and say hey we can't get a surface a mineral owner to sign it you know we're kind of down at the end of the rope here and we've got a couple outstanding interests but looking at your arrays we'll talk to the insurance company with you because we can tell them they're not drilling wells in a 40 acre spacing area down there. You know, that knowledge of how they're drilling wells and the basins and the formula, form, formations really helps us kind of get their argument over to the title company and provide them with that knowledge as well. Uh, one of the big things we have is a push to do the full title. And what I mean by that is the end product, what that renewable client's gonna need to go to the title companies to get their title insurance for their projects is a full run of who owns the minerals, all the working interest in there, everybody that is subsurface that might be involved in their project that they will have to get agreements with. I think a, a situation that kind of outlines why TCO is highly regarded in the industry with renewables and has continued to get a lot of work from it was a case we had uh, about a year ago. Uh, we had a client come to us. They had been working with a, another land group and they hadn't gotten any traction with uh, severed mineral owners uh, negotiating surface use agreements. They had been sending letters and trying to reach out to them for about two to three months before we got involved. And once we got involved, um, our group of negotiators, uh, some of them have been with us for 10, 15 years. They're, you know, they stay friends with everybody they talk to for years. I believe within three weeks we had the first SUA signed from a severed mineral landowner and the other ones were shortly in there and that just proved our worth that our buyers got out there and made contact with them, know how to do the research to find out who it is and we, as we call it, we got ink on paper right away. Um, and I think that's a great case for why 
why we do so well in this industry. Now, an example, uh, we were able to move fast because we did know some of the larger players in there. Uh, the key to that is because of the network of landmen that we have, I was able to get the negotiator started not only on the ones he had already recognized in there and that we felt were what I'll call a slam dunk because we can get a hold of them real easy, but while they were doing that, I could have another landman start looking into those issues of can you find me who, where this gentleman died, if there's a probate, a will. We could, so we can attack it from multiple angles at once and you're not just relying on the buyer to kind of do the digging for you. Um, so we kind of got ahead of the game right away with that. That was a project in New Mexico. Um, they had about, I want to say six or seven sections of, of uh, interest that we had to look at. Uh, probably approximately 25 to 30 total surface owners. Um, so in that case, we, we reviewed the title that we were provided just to make sure we had the right information um, that we could locate some of these people because most of this, this was a unique situation where most of the family had died um, probably 10 to 15 years ago and their heirs, some of them knew they owned minerals, but most of them didn't. Uh, so we had to do a lot of research through the internet and kind of cold calling people to figure out, hey, was so-and-so your grandfather? And, and getting it to the final person. But that's also going to reducing the risk for these solar projects, because I can prove with the paperwork and how we track everything that, hey, we've called four people. They all told us that Bob was their cousin. They are the heirs. And they, so we provide that paperwork and I can tell the title company, hey, we did our due diligence. This, every, all, everything points to the gentleman we got the SUA signed for it. And if you need me to get more information and background, I can, but they, that's, that's part of reducing that risk. So I think what the product that TCO produces that makes us so valuable to our client is our reports are standardized. They come across the same way. Um, it's not one reports one type for one section, one reports for another. It's a standard format and it's really thorough. You know, we include well information, uh, oil and gas leases, and the, the key to it too that takes it one step further is within our reports, all the documents are hyperlinked in there. So when I go to give those to our client and the client says, will you send those to the title company? I can send those to them and they can review my title at the same time because they have a run sheet that has hyperlinks to everything we examined in our reports. They got, there's hyperlinks to the oil and gas leases. So everything is visible to them. At, I don't have to send four or five boxes or share sites. We just give them access to TACT. And with our reports, they're able to verify what we're saying and either come to an agreement or call me up and say, hey, for our underwriters, can we change the language of how you laid something out on your report? And instead of redoing something, I can just go in and edit it. And it makes it a lot easier to meet the underwriter's needs at that point. I think people choose TCO for the utility scale renewable projects because of the quality of work. I think our commitment, you know, we're, we're the ones on the phones. The project managers are talking with the clients. We're involved with them day to day. If there's any question that comes up, we're the ones answering it. We're talking to the field guys. All of our products and all of our titles reviewed by a project manager, meaning even though I may have a landman in the field who lives in that county, run that title, I'm the one that is ultimately responsible for it. So I'm reviewing it and making sure everything's there. And I think it's that hands-on approach. And, and that's probably also why, not probably, that is why TCO has been around for so long. It's a large family, but all of us take pride in our work, whether it's renewable or oil and gas or you know whatever your title, whatever title is, we're all involved in it. I think what I want solar clients to know about the TCO team is that myself or someone else here at TCO is always here to answer their questions or anybody else they're working for. You know, if that solar client has a question from a landowner that they need, need some more information on, we're happy to work with the landowner. Whatever we have to do to help them complete their project that any one of us here in the office or in the field is happy to answer. Whether it's a simple question or, hey, I need to go down and knock on a door or, or drive six hours to go meet with somebody, any one of us is willing to do that. 